Hypothetically speaking, can the universe just kind of end? One day it's there, the other day it's not. And though common sense kind of tells us that, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen, quantum physics tells us otherwise. As a matter of fact, there is a non-zero chance that one day the universe does actually just completely end for no reason whatsoever. For pretty much the same reasons why it began. Today, modern cosmology establishes that, for the most part, it's quite likely that the universe just kind of began out of nothing, probably as a result of some kind of a quantum fluctuation. And so, why can't it just end the same way? And though this idea might sound a little bit presumptuous and potentially too hypothetical, there is a physical explanation, referred to as the false vacuum decay, that actually does propose that it is possible, though extremely unlikely. And so, hello on person, this is Anton. Today we're going to discuss false vacuum decay. And not just a hypothetical proposition, but holy cow, an actual physical experiment that was able, for the first time ever, to reproduce a kind of a model for the false vacuum decay, technically proving that, yeah, it is actually possible. As in, it's possible, quantum mechanically, for things to undergo this unusual phenomenon and thus enter a new state. But it doesn't mean that the universe is going to end anytime soon. And so let's discuss this particular study and this experiment, more importantly discuss this proposition and what it means, and in the process learn a little bit more about quantum mechanics. And here I guess let's start with the basics. Even though in classical physics we understand vacuum as completely empty space, today based on quantum experiments we know that this is not true. Empty space is really not that empty. It contains what the scientists now refer to as quantum foam. An idea from the quantum field theory that represents a kind of a false vacuum. But I think this animation by Derek Lineweber basically represents it the best. Quantum foam in this case basically shows us that empty space is really not that empty. Vacuum has energy and is produced through appearance and disappearance of various virtual particles that appear for a moment and then self-annihilate into nothingness. And to some extent this has been proven with various experiments, such as the experiments showing the Casimir effect. Basically by placing two plates close to each other, even if there is nothing in between them, there is actually going to be pressure from the outside, because the quantum foam inside produces less particles than the quantum foam on the outside, thus producing pressure that should not technically exist in classical physics. Which in essence once again highlights that the universe, even if there is complete vacuum, will still contain some kind of a minuscule energy. And today this vacuum energy is also known as the lowest possible energy state in the entire universe. But the thing is, in a lot of different quantum theories, it's not believed to be the lowest state. Because technically, you could maybe remove all of these quantum fluctuations and this quantum foam, reaching an even lower state of energy, or what the scientists refer to as the true vacuum state. And so here we have this very unique proposition. Maybe just maybe, it's possible for the universe to go from this to something more like this a much lower energy state and potentially even the lowest level possible. And so sometimes researchers refer to this as a metastable state, or basically not permanently stable state, whereas this is the stable state. Now it's not entirely clear how and why such an event would occur, but in quantum physics it does seem to be possible. In other words, it's a state where all of this quantum foam becomes very silent, very quiet and non-existent. And the way this might happen is through the process known as bubble nucleation. Or a sudden formation of a bubble with zero energy inside that then suddenly starts spreading throughout the entire universe. And so here we have this tiny bubble forming somewhere in the universe and then suddenly growing larger and larger pretty much at the speed of light, eventually covering the whole universe and making the entire universe transform into a completely new state, a lower state of energy. But we have no idea what exactly this would mean. Maybe this will just change a few properties of the universe, maybe it will make the universe grow much larger, or maybe it will destroy everything. So there's no clear answer about what's going to happen. But if our universe is truly in this false vacuum state right now, then reaching that true vacuum state is definitely something that could happen. And intriguingly enough, if it does happen, we're not even going to know. Even if it destroys the universe, all of this is going to happen suddenly, instantly and at the speed of light. One day you're there walking your dog and then just like that, in an instant, everything is gone. Sometimes it's compared to some kind of a sinkhole that suddenly swallows everything around it. But in order for this to happen, there has to be a way to build these bubbles. Something has to be able to create them one way or another. 
And researchers studying these bubbles always propose that it has to be a result of some kind of a quantum tunneling. Or basically the same quantum effects that produce quantum foam may occasionally reach that zero point, suddenly creating a total energy zero bubble that then starts to spread. But all of this up to this point was more or less somewhat theoretical and very hypothetical. Just something you find in physics books or something theoretical physicists basically tell their friends at the dinner table for funsies. And that's until this recent study that to some extent created a model that actually recreated this. First experimental evidence for false vacuum decay. Although in this case they obviously did not use the universe itself. They did use a gas. But a very very cold gas almost at absolute zero that acquired a lot of quantum effects extremely similar to what we usually observe or to what we usually expect from anything at these very low temperatures. And so basically here the gas acquired a lot of quantum properties. But interestingly, at some point, through a carefully controlled experiment, the researchers were able to produce a tiny bubble that then started to spread. And as it spread more and more, the entire gas state reached a much lower state of energy, or the so-called true vacuum. Or in other words, they were able to recreate these vacuum bubbles, thus kind of proving that false vacuum decay is maybe somewhat possible. Or at least a phenomenon that definitely exists in physical systems. And more importantly, in this case, these bubbles resulted from being activated through the introduction of a little bit more energy. In this case, referred to as the thermal activation. And for a lot of cosmologists and a lot of theoretical physicists, this would be a really important study. Because vacuum decay plays a really important role in a lot of different ideas. For example, the creation of the universe itself. The formation of space-time and the formation of matter is actually believed to be the result of a kind of a transition state very similar to a false vacuum decay. Or in other words, the universe had nothing at first, then suddenly had stuff in it. And all of this can be explained using these ideas. As a matter of fact, even the Big Bang theory can also be explained this way as well. And even more exotic ideas such as the inflation theory can really only be explained as a result of this false vacuum decay into a different energy state such as the one we have today. And so in other words, one of the main explanations we have for this unusual expansion of the universe in the beginning, where basically the universe suddenly became much 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 larger than it used to be at first, that's what the cosmologists refer to as the inflation, is basically a result of this false vacuum decay. It's quite possible that after the Big Bang, the universe had much much higher energy. Then suddenly, a quantum bubble suddenly makes everything collapse into a lower energy state, which might have resulted in a sudden expansion of everything around us. And so the inflation itself has been previously explained as a result of the Higgs field being trapped inside the false vacuum state. In other words, this unusual phenomenon could potentially explain pretty much everything that was always confusing about the entire universe. How the universe began, how it changed so dramatically in the first few seconds, why it's still changing even today, and even what might eventually happen later on. And since this particular experiment physically proves that this is a phenomenon that does exist, this experiment essentially created a very important analog for the early universe itself in order to help us understand what might have happened. But it obviously does not answer the question of what would happen to the universe if it reached an even lower energy state. Mostly because we have no idea how the physics around us would change as well. We don't really know if this is going to be a sinkhole that swallows everything, with the entire universe basically disappearing or transitioning into something that can no longer support matter, or if it's just going to change into something slightly different, just like it did during inflation. Either way, the results from the study are still quite intriguing. They definitely confirm that it's possible to exist in a metastable state for a long time, until something creates a bubble that suddenly transforms everything into true vacuum. But how exactly such a bubble would form in the real universe is not something anyone can answer right now, or if it's possible at all. Nevertheless, as I mentioned, a lot of physicists do believe that there is a non-zero chance that it is possible and that one day the universe might change after all. But in order for this to happen, it's quite likely that the universe has to find itself in a place with no gravity. Or basically current explanations suggest that in order to build this bubble of total energy zero, it has to be created somewhere where there is no gravitation whatsoever. Because gravity seems to distort vacuum energy and prevents these bubbles from forming by not allowing them to get big enough in terms of volume and surface ratio. Which means that I guess for as long as there is matter in the universe, maybe it won't happen at all. 
But on the other hand, other papers have actually proposed that it might form in certain extreme conditions, such as for example when two black holes collide, producing tiny tiny bubbles right in between them milliseconds before the collision. But because these environments are so hectic and because they only last for a millisecond, and also because there's so much other energy including potentially Hawking radiation, these bubbles very likely disappear as soon as black holes collide. In other words, in terms of theories, there are definitely a lot of propositions when it comes to this true vacuum, or these true vacuum bubbles. But at least in terms of the universe itself, we still have no evidence from anywhere. For now we just have this evidence by using an analog environment using ferromagnetic gas at extremely cold temperatures. Something you can learn more about in the study in the description. But with future similar experiments, we might actually get more answers about what's going to happen to the universe or what happened to the universe in the beginning and how it transformed from one state to another, leading to all the phenomenon we have today. So definitely a kind of an exciting study and something that I hope someone recreates, learning more details in the process. But until these future studies or until these future discoveries, that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. Check out some of the previous videos on similar topics in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.